from Cigar Nation. I'm Lee. I'm Diane. And this is another episode of Cigars and Cocktails. On this episode, we're going to review Captain Morgan's Pineapple Rum and... Uh, ginger ale with a little maraschino cherry juice in it. And what cigar do you have? I have a Drew Estate Isla del Sol today. Ooh. And sticking with the pirate theme, I did a little research and I was trying to find out, you know, did the pirates smoke cigars? Did they do anything like that at all? They did, but they weren't really called cigars back then. They would take shavings, tobacco shavings, and sometimes they'd smoke them in clay pipes. Back then when they were on pirate ships, they were either hungry or just bored out of their mind. So they would, if they didn't Kind of like now. Kind of like now, <laughs> yes. Quarantine. We turned into pirates. Pirates. <laughs> And sometimes they would take tobacco leaves and they'd roll them up and they would make little cigarellos, little tiny, small cigars. Um, and they definitely wouldn't light them up when they were down below. They would actually <laughs> get punished for that too. So there was a long no, they history. they gunpowder? Well, they, well it's, it's everything's, you know, flammable, you know, and mo they said most of the guys were intoxicated anyway on the ship. Oh. So there was no one that where they could, there was no way they could really put out a fire like fast enough if someone was actually light up. So what they reverted to was they actually started to chew on the tobacco leaves too. So that was like the early history of pirates and drinking and cigars. They always had rum and things like that back then, but- Also um, flammable. Also flammable. <laughs> Everything flammable on a floating ship. <laughs> and they didn't care too much about their health back then too, because I read that, you know, they didn't live long enough to, to get cancer, to, you know, it's all that stuff to happen to them or to kill their liver or anything like that. That so, wasn't their main worry. <laughs> that wasn't their main worry. So that was, and I actually did the research on that. It was actually pretty cool when I when I researched it. So I actually, awesome. before we get to your sure, go right ahead. thing, I actually bought a V cutter. Let's see if you can see that. It's called Calibra. Calibri. Calibri? Calibri. Why do I keep mispronouncing I don't know. You keep putting an A at the end of it instead of an I. I don't know why. All right. It's a Calibri, well, although if he says Calibra, you know what it is now. It's it's a V-cut. It's your new favorite. Cutter, and I love this thing. I use it for almost every cigar that I cut. Mm -hmm. And it does exactly what it says it does. It creates like a little V-cut on the top of the cigar. And this one is spring-loaded. And I think I paid, I bought this on Amazon, and I think I paid about $40 for this the, one. Flavor is a good brand. Yeah, and, and it's, it's on one dirty. of them. Yeah, yeah, and it feels really good in your hand, I mean, mm -hmm. when you hold it. And when I, on one of the cigar groups that I'm on on Facebook, when I mentioned that I that I got this and I couldn't wait to try it, you know, they were all saying, you're gonna love it, you know, it's, it's one of the best things. And I actually do like it because of the draw mm -hmm. that it gives you. And I- It and comes I, such a long way. <laughs> And I tend to, I tend to like it better than just the cut, um, using a cutter. See, and that's my favorite. Simply because it doesn't leave the tobacco. Sometimes when I do the, uh, use a cutter, Straight it cut. leaves the mm -hmm. cutter, the tobacco in my mouth. It tends to come out. So um, I really, really, really like this a lot. And I do think it was like $39.99 on Amazon, but there's like the whole variety of them, different colors and different types. I mean, they get pretty expensive. I mean, it's some of different them, kinds of cutters. Can I grab mine? Yeah, yeah, right go ahead. Here. Yeah, go I was going to tack on to yours a little bit with uh, the kind of cuts you can get. Because you can do, of course, there's a V-cut, there's a straight cut, there's a punch. You can use scissors, there's all different kinds of ways to cut it, cutters. My favorite is a straight cut, which I use with a double, double yeah. blade guillotine. And there's I a single I, blade guillotine. I love that one, and I use that one in a lot of I got this on Amazon too, but I got it a couple of years ago. I love the rose ago. gold. It's yeah, really cool. it's, of course it's girly. It's rose gold, and it's got a little pattern on it. That's not girly. I yeah. like it. It goes so, with a lot of different stuff. And with that, I got, I also got this really great punch also on Amazon. It's got rose gold in it also. So this one is my favorite, the double double blade guillotine. There's a single blade guillotine also. I, I don't have one of those, so I've really not tried it. When I did some research on it, people's preference were a double, because it hits it from both sides evenly instead of squishing it with one blade. Do we, do we have one of those? We don't have a gift. Oh, okay. um, we should get one. I know. Uh, there's also scissors, which some people like or don't like. I've never tried them. They're cigar scissors, not regular scissors. They're cigar scissors. They're they're shaped a little bit differently. Hmm. Um, Maybe we should try that. Yeah. And there's also, we can get a couple of them and try them out. There's also a punch. This is a double punch. This has each side open. So one side is larger, one side is smaller. I have one because on the bigger ring gauge cigars, I prefer a punch rather than a cut because the cut on it's just too big so the punch for me is a little bit a little bit easier i love this that makes sense i'm getting cigar stuff all over the place good going i used it the other day good going <laughs> That's what it's for. That's what it's for. And it's got these nifty little ends on it. They're spring-loaded. Um, they push the what you bore out so it doesn't you stay in nice. there. 
Mike, so do you. Your hair looks really nice. Awfully handsome today. A little, a little wave in it today. And there's scissors oh. and also, sorry, you, there's, is a, um, there's a new thing out since 2011. Sorry, I was checking notes. It's called a, a shuriken, and it's a little thing you can put on the end of it. It's got six little blades on it, and it kind of like, almost like an apple slicer, and just kind of like, Cuts into it like, like per, six per little crazy. slits. Uh huh. It creates oh, six. Oh, I have seen You've that. Seen, I've seen them. I have yeah. Seen that. So I haven't used one. I'd but like, I've seen I'd it. I'd like to try. That. We can try all these and do yeah. another segment I'd like on to try that. like how it works and how you th you know we can just get a batch of cigars that okay. are too expensive to <laughs> too expensive. To, it's not too expensive to, to not, uh, too expensive. not to, to experiment on. Okay. Uh, you can also a lot of people with um, if you don't have any kind of method of cutting your cigar and there are some people that prefer to bite the end of the cigar off. Yes, I would do seen that. that in a lot of old I, movies where I, I see them just biting it off. And, ah, yeah. I love it when a plan comes together. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And then you're like, yeah, yeah no, I don't I'm think sorry. that I would I'm, do that. I'm and I'm not going to try that. I'll try the other one, but not that one. I pity the fool. Yeah. So those are in your V cut, which is also called a witch cut. That's all I have. Tell me about, um, well, tell me about the drink first that you, you drink. The drink first. Do we have that the pineapple room back here? It's right here. Hey, you want to grab that and show sure. that? We chose, this actually was a suggestion by my sister. Mm -hmm. um, she uh, she told us to Pineapple try Pineapple rum, we chose Captain Morgan. There yeah. were several brands. Right. Sorry. Um, this one was kind of middle of the road price. Captain Morgan's always a solid name. And since I, you know, it's not mainstream. like... Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of, there were some lesser expensive ones or, of course, more expensive ones, but I just chose kind of right in the middle. And yeah. since I'm a Captain Morgan fan anyways, I figured why she not? Captain Love Morgan. Captain Morgan. And so I figured why not a pineapple rum? So I mixed it. I'm like, okay, what am I going to mix this with? So I figured a, a ginger ale would be a good vape. I try, I use Canada Dry. Because Canada Dry is not as sweet as like right. Seagram's or Verner's, which I also love, but Canada Dry seems to work better I with. I like Canada Dry. Yeah, it seems to work better with, um, with the yeah. pineapple rum. Rum. And I had some maraschino cherries left over from a holiday party we had, so I figured, why not throw a maraschino cherry, a little bit of juice in there, and make it a little red, <laughs> make it curly. Sounds good. So it ended up really good. Uh, I liked it. it. It tastes really good. It's actually the pineapple so, rum's awesome. How did it pair with that cigar? Tell us about the cigar. It paired well with the cigar. This is a here. I'll put that over there. Thank you. It's a Drew Estate. Again, Drew Estate. Drew Estate makes some great cigars all the way around. Yeah, I, I agree. So we ended up with a Drew Estate again. Shocker. But they make great cigars. This is an Isla del Sol. Literally means Island of the Sun. This is, there's, they have a Maduro version of this also. We do not, this is not the Maduro version. This is a mellow to medium bodied, mild or mild to medium bodied cigar. It has a, they call it Sun Blessed Sumatra wrapper. And it has a Nicaraguan filler. It has a sweet cap, so it has a sweet taste when you put it to your lips. A lot of their acid brands have that too. Mm -hmm. You like their cigars. Yeah, actually, I did yeah. smoke that one too, and I, I really like that yeah. one too. It's and, actually, go ahead, sorry. And we all know that I like the sweet stuff, yes. and it's no secret, so no. I'm not one of the guys that likes the spicy stuff. But. Yeah. That one was really nice. This one was nice. I've tried the Maduro, and as much as I like Maduros, I like the original, the, the Sumatra wrapper better in this version. Actually, the Maduro was good, but I, I prefer this one. It has more of a coffee mocha taste mm, to it, but like it was that. mild, so it went really well with the drink. This is an infused cigar, and the cigar is infused with Sumatran Mandhelling bean coffee, which is why it has the coffee notes. It smells good. It does not smell like cow manure. It does a little bit. Yeah. It does means it. it's good. It's still got a little bit of cow manure. It has a great it, smoke. But that's good. Yeah, it's a great smoke. It has um, a, a real creamy taste, great construction, great draw. It's just like you can see this pretty chocolate brown um, Sumatran wrapper. So it's, it's really good. I like this cigar um, a lot. Again, I did a straight cut on it because that's my favorite kind of cut. <laughs> Sorry. I tried to get her to try the, the V cut. I've tried it. I just, she, just, she doesn't dig it as much. I don't as dig I it as much. I like the straight cut. That's I don't okay. Know. And it's everyone, right. you know what? That's all right because everyone has their own preference. If you want to bite it off, go <laughs> right ahead. <laughs> I just like the V cut. I, yeah. I, I I was really interested when they first when I first saw one on because I I do a lot of research I'll look on YouTube I'll look on Facebook I'll we'll look at website I'll both of us do it mm -hmm. websites just for new things but it just it's got some weight to it it's really nice uh, the Calibri is a good it's a good lighter yeah they only have they have lighters they have they have a whole line of stuff mm -hmm. so this I definitely would recommend without a doubt yeah so the pineapple run with a little Canada Dry 
A little bit of maraschino cherry juice in there. It's a great, great cocktail, especially for summer. Yeah. Well, it's Florida, so it might as well be summer. I know it's not 100 degrees. Yeah, and when we record these, we turn the AC off, so we're like, okay, let's go. It's go time. <laughs> we cool the room down. Cool it down. In our it's new cold as we get. lounge. By the way, if you notice, we've moved again and within the, the house. <laughs> the last video we did was in front of you, mm -hmm. which you can't see, where we sat in our lounge chair. So mm -hmm. it's part of the whole room that we we uh, put together. Yeah. Is there anything else that you wanted to talk about? No, but your your gray looks nice and I, your beard. You like that? Yeah. It looks good. I like to refer to it as like my racing stripes. Racing stripes. Because you're not that fast. <laughs> well, some women might think that that's a good thing. How you doing? I'm good. I got drinks. <laughs> We're day drinking. <laughs> day drinkers. Day drinkers. But listen, thanks for tuning in. Yes. Um, thanks for watching. If you like this video and you're watching on YouTube, click the subscribe button. Click that little bell. You get notifications if you're watching on Facebook. Like Share us. us with friends. Click the little follow button. Like the video too. And like she just said, if you can share it, that'd be great. You want a little toast? Toast. Toast. Stay inside. Stay inside. Stay safe. Stay safe. Day drink. And do you want to... <laughs> Stay inside, day drink. Do whatever you can to cure Just don't that. drive. Just don't drive. Do whatever you can to cure that boredom. Yes. You want to lead us out? Yes. Smoke them if you got them.